Mercedes tended to be bought by interesting people. They were expensive, fast, glamorous. And the first owner of this particular one was no different. He was a German prince with a very long surname, which I won't attempt to remember or pronounce. He chose this unusual color scheme. It's called Weißgrau, white gray, with black leather piped red, which personally I've never seen before. The poor chap, though, didn't uh, live very long, and the next owner was a German industrialist who was in the steel business. And he'd actually been a prisoner of war in, I think, Scotland during the war, and had been well looked after by a Scottish officer. And after the war, this German recontacted the Scot. The Scottish family were also in the steel business. It was an old family called the Tennant family. They'd been in railway locomotives and such like. And uh, they started doing business together. And they came to an impasse on one particular deal where they couldn't agree on the commercial terms. And the Germans said, look, if, uh, if we agree this deal, I'll tell you what, you've admired my Mercedes 300 SL. I'll sell you the car for one shilling. It's been a while since I've driven a gullwing that's completely standard. No upgrades, modifications, improvements, nothing. Just the way it left the factory. And I have to say, I really like it. well put together package, which I suppose is what you'd expect of a Mercedes.